And that's what they're trying to do. Now, they're trying to say that the judge, the FISA judge, who had repeatedly ruled in favor of extending the surveillance of Carter Page, someone who had worked with the campaign, and whose connection to Russia had been picked up not by the Steele dossier, but by an earlier wiretap, incidental wiretap, because he'd been dealing with Russian, one Russian, in fact, who was later convicted as a, as a Russian spy handler in the United States. That's all been reported. There were several Russians, two got away before the FBI got to them. One spent time in jail and had mentioned in a, in a conversation that was picked up as well as on paper as a, an energy consultant in Manhattan, who turns out to be Carter Page. This preceded the Steele dossier. Uh, you know, I can't comment on what's in their memo until it's been okay, I'm declassified. asserting it, and but, my colleague but you, Rachel Maddow has done some extraordinary reporting. You're, you're absolutely this. right, though. In the public record is the fact that Russians were indicted for uh, an espionage ring in New York. Uh, there was a unindicted uh, person ref referenced as male number one, uh, who Carter Page would later admit was Carter Page. Uh, and that was obviously well before... Uh, uh, Christopher Steele or the dossier or any of that. Um, so uh, while I can't comment yet on what's in the GOP memo, it is a very misleading spin designed to attack uh, the FBI and the Department of Justice. Uh, it has a lot of flaws in it. And the fact they wouldn't allow the FBI to come to our committee to tell us the problems with it, uh, and they wouldn't allow the House uh, to be briefed in a closed session, uh, tells you all you need to know about whether they were interested in the underlying information, which the chairman himself hadn't even